Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, we are going to discuss about hardware and software requirements for SharePoint Server 2019 or 2016. Now, before that, before discussing about hardware and software requirements, let me uh, start with something like if you are trying as a developer, let's say you are a developer or you want to uh, do a job in SharePoint and you are, for that you are, you are thinking that you will install something and then uh, you can practice on that. In those scenarios, I would not suggest you go and install SharePoint Server 2019 or 2016 in a, in a, in a laptop. Now the reason behind that is Microsoft is providing a uh, two ways that you can access SharePoint online. So the only difference will be in terms of the server object model code mostly. Because the other things like your client object model or your modern features, those things are available in SharePoint uh, Server 2019 as well, which you, are, you can do practice in SharePoint online. So only difference that will matter is the, uh, is the concepts uh, which are not supported in SharePoint Online. One major thing is the SharePoint Server Object Model. And for that, if you are just preparing for interviews or even in, you want to do some practice on that, you will really uh, practice on CSAM Object Model or the CSAP.NET if you use uh, by using the uh, DLL like Microsoft.Client.DLL. Then in those scenarios, it will be fine, perfectly fine that as a developer, you'll be able to also get how to work with Microsoft.SharePoint.DLL. So that will be the only difference. So in those scenarios, as a developer, you can sign up for Office 365 developer program. Uh, there is a program which is available and where you can sign up and they will give you enterprise E5 license uh, and they will allow you to create up to 25 users. That means you can also ask to create some test users, you can do some practice and uh, in that, uh, that is all the trial, the trial is unlimited, meaning you, you can just, uh, uh, if you keep on working, then each 90 days, I think they are, they are going to uh, renew it, auto, auto renew it. So I have also created a separate video for that. I'll put the link in the video description. So you can go with that option. And the other option is a normal uh, trial uh, which is for 30 days so as a developer if you want to just try for 30 days then that is a good option that you can even sign up enterprise e5 um, uh, why i'm saying enterprise e5 because most of the things are available on that so you can uh, practice with your power platform like power apps power automate or power bi uh, apart from that, you can develop your SPFX web parts. You just need to install Visual Studio Code over there in your uh, computer, in your laptop. So you don't need to really install or you don't need to follow the complete hardware software requirements for SharePoint Server. Um, and so, uh, so that is the thing that I wanted to uh, make a point on that. So if you are a developer, no need to sign up or no need to install anything on your local system SharePoint Server. Rather, you can just sign up for Office 365 developer program and then you can go for it. Now let coming back to really if you want to install a main role over there in your local system where you might have everything on that like your SQL server or this your local system is going to be your uh, SharePoint farm uh, everything should, will be there in those scenarios. Let me just go through the hardware and software requirements then you will get an idea uh, because those are the things minimum required for installing anything on the SharePoint on your laptop. Now for that I have written a complete tutorial on that. I'll put the link also in the video description but let me explain you from there so that you will be able to know what are the things basically are required. So this is the article that I was talking about and I'll put the link in the video description anyway. Uh, now for the 2019 requirements we'll come up with two things. One is your SharePoint uh, uh, software requirements and the hardware requirements. So whatever it is uh, make sure that uh, there will be enough space for logging, debugging, uh, creating memory dumps. So these are the things which are required. So for example, let's say uh, um, if you want to, you require this space because the logging uh, things you don't know uh, the how the size it will be because based on your user base and stuff. So that space, it can allocate more space. Uh, so in that scenario, you really don't need to even install in your uh, 
same drive or you don't need to allocate uh, on the same drive rather you can uh, you can have put everything in in another drive and you can change the logging path over there but whether it is your production or even your local system make sure you have some space for that and also according to this microsoft documentation is uh, you should have uh, two times as much as free space as your ram so just a consideration that you can think of now uh, the hardware requirement is based on your uh, the installation scenarios uh, that you are going to do on that so for example here if you'll see single server role that uses a sql server if that is the case in this case ideally what will happen is you will install sharepoint server 2019 uh, with minimum recommended services for development for example let's say you don't have work for uh, sharepoint search then you don't need to really configure it the source thing so you, that thing you can avoid over there so in those scenarios it can the ram can be 16 gb and uh, 64 bit processor 4 core and 80 gb of uh, system drive 100 gb of secondary drive this is for every installation scenarios and the other one is single server role that uses sql server now in this case if you'll see here mostly this is the environment which we create for uat kind of things where uh, your uh, SharePoint server will be having all the services uh, running on that. So in those scenarios, you should require a little more of RAM. It, you can see here 24 GB and all other things are same. The processor and the hard disk space, it is 64 bit. Anyway, everything is 64 bit. You cannot install SharePoint on a 32 bit machine anyway. And then web server or application server in a three tier farm. So when you talk about a three tier farm in those scenarios, uh, let's say there's a development uh, um, uh, things on that. So in those scenarios with minimum uh, number of services, you require 12 GB and 64 bit uh, um, uh, processor will be required four core. And then the other thing is the web server or application server in a three tier where uh, you, you, you will, we are going to use this as an, your UAT or production deployment. So in those scenarios, you require, require 16 GB and 64 bit, uh, uh, four core, uh, things. So you can see here, this just public review. This was a little bit before I wrote it. So it's no more on public review. It is on SharePoint server 2019 is already, uh, released everything. And uh, next is the software requirement. So before starting the software requirements, let me tell you when there was days when um, SharePoint 2010 came, those, that is one of the best uh, thing for the developers. Uh, it was the best one for the development purpose because you can install it in your even Windows 7 machine. You don't need a server edition for that. But after that, your SharePoint 2013, 2016 or 2019 in those scenarios, you require the operating system for this is Windows Server 2016 standard or data center and 2019 Windows Server standard or data center. This is the thing that you required um, the operating system. Now, for example, let's say you decided that I'll buy a laptop and then I will install SharePoint on that SharePoint Server 2016 or 2019 in fact. So in those scenarios, first thing is when you will buy, buy a Windows laptop, probably you will have your Windows 10 or something. Then in that scenarios, uh, unless or until you are going for a VM or something, you have to install your Windows Server Operating System 2016 Standard or Data Center or 2019 data Standard or Data Center. Both the things are supported and then you require one of the operating system for that. And the second one is the SQL Server, the database. As we know in the back end, we use SQL Server only, SharePoint support SQL Server only. That is the database that we can use and you required 2016, 2017 and 2019, any, any version on that. Apart from that, also you will, any future version, let's say tomorrow some future version will come that, that should support database compatibility le level of 130. So that is uh, the thing that is required. And SQL Server Express is not supported to install your SharePoint Server 2019. And another important thing is that uh, the Office 2019 client that you cannot install if you if you are installing SharePoint Server 2019 on the same computer. Both this doesn't allow Microsoft doesn't allow that. So that means uh, you cannot install that one. So make sure you have. I think if I remember correctly, when I installed SharePoint Server 2019, that time we installed uh, Office uh, 20, the 2013, I think so. Uh, so apart from that also, I put uh, the link for the MSDN. There are some other things also you can have a look at that. 
now coming back to the serpent 2016 requirement so it's more of a kind of same uh, like your sharepoint uh, 2019 as well uh, or you can say the other vice versa one that you your sharepoint 2016 and 2019 and almost same thing are uh, that we require little bit of different things are uh, over here for example the installation scenario that we discuss database server running in a in a single sql instance in those scenario we require 12 to uh, 16 gb of ram uh, for uh, QA and production environment, you require 16 to 24 GB of RAM. And if you in a TTR application for development, you can require 12 to 16. Uh, and then application server in TTR, you require uh, 16 to 24 GB of RAM. That is the thing required. But based from my experience, uh, let me tell you that if you are going to install Visual Studio, let's say you want to do some development kind of things, better you should go for at least 24 GB of RAM. Uh, whatever it is uh, the, uh, the scenario or the operating system you go for a 24 GB RAM at least uh, else it will be very slow let's say you are developing something or part of some kind of things farm solution then you will see you will see very uh, speed will be very less so for that you can just think on that way and there are certain prerequisites which are required you can see here um, these are the prerequisites which are required and this is uh, when you will when you will download the software uh, from the MSDN site, whether it is SharePoint Server 2019 or SharePoint SharePoint Server 2016, you will come up when you unzip that you will see the, there will be a prerequisite installer or .exe file will be there in that. So in what you will do is first thing is you just install that um, so that what it will do is it will install all your prerequisite stuff over there. So in in, the, in during that time it will uh, restart couple of times. Then once everything is correct, so when you will run it, uh, you will be able to see actually how um, what are the things has been completed and wh what whether everything is installed or not. From my experience, if there is any a single thing which is prerequisite installation is failed, do not proceed. Even you can just download it. Um, you can just download it. Let's say some component uh, didn't install it properly. Just then you can just search for MSDN site for that particular component. You can just download it, install it, run again the prerequisite installer.exe file. If everything is well and good, then you can proceed with the or setup run. So after that, you can start your installation. So that is quite important because these are the things which are mandatory to install SharePoint server. So this prerequisite installer.exe this is mandatory for SharePoint 2016 or whether you want to install SharePoint 2019 as well. Now the software requirements uh, again uh, one additional thing is it supports say, Windows Server 2012 R2 uh, that version it will be there don't just install on Windows Server 2012 that will not support you require R2 standard data center apart from that your 2016 and 2019 standard data center Windows operating system you require again same thing I'm, go I'm going to tell here if you are developing something in your local system that is the operating system that you, you require that means you require licensing for that as well and in terms of the SQL server again SQL server 12 14 16 17 19 everything is supported any future version where the uh, that support database compatibility level of 110 that will be uh, that will be supported so mostly you know, all the operating system uh, sorry all the sql server version is supported again sql server express is not supported and uh, you can follow this i i have also put the msdn links uh, from there also you can see whatever the uh, if anything which is we didn't install in the prerequisites files then you can download and you can install it i'm not going through the 2013 one because um, this is uh, you might have been already uh, either you are already trying or you will try a new version because after 2013 there are already two on-premises versions are there 2016 and 2019 so I, I am not expecting that you will try 2019 installation anyway I have put in the link uh, put in the article so I'll put the link in the video description you can have a look at that so I hope overall you, you got it now what are the things that you required for installing SharePoint server uh, 2019 or 2016 in your local machine um, that you can follow and if you want similar kind of videos then subscribe to our youtube channel you will get a lot of free videos on SharePoint online office 365 power platform spfx all these videos you will get it free so thank you and have a nice day